Hello everybody and welcome to Polka Dot Pots. I'm Erin Rassiope and today I'm going to show you how to paint this penguin bank in three easy steps. Plus, I'll tell you how you can win this cute and cuddly guy for free. Like totally free. We'll even pay to ship it to you. Let's get started. First, I'm going to paint the face and the belly white. We always recommend using light colors first and then dark colors. This is because the darker colors will cover up the lighter colors. So if I get some white outside the lines, it's okay. The black will cover it up. Now, if I were to not paint his belly and face white, it would still turn out white and shiny, but the white paint gives it a bright white finish. Remember to use three coats of paint. Because I'm working from light to dark, orange is next. I'm applying three coats of paint to the beak and feet. Painting the beak and not getting any orange on the face can be tricky. A tip is to use a flat brush to help get a crisp line between the beak and the face. If you get any orange on the face, for example, ask a Polka Dot Pots team member for help. They are rock stars and can generally fix mistakes. I don't have to be quite as careful with the feet, since I'll be cutting in with black next. On to the darkest color, black. I'll start with a small flat brush to cut in along the edges of the other colors, white and orange in the case of this cute little penguin. To cut in in tight spaces, line the flat edge of the brush up against the edge of the other color and brush away. Next, I'll use a larger brush to cover the rest of the body, since it's faster. Again, three coats of paint will give you a nice, solid finish. All right, let's give this penguin a personality by painting its eyes. For eyes, I prefer to use fun writers, since you only need to go over them once for a solid finish. You can always use a small brush, but make sure you use three coats of paint for a solid finish. First, I'm adding a blue teardrop shape filling about three quarters of the size of the eye. I'm barely squeezing the fun writer, and at times I'm not squeezing at all, just pushing the paint around with the tip of the fun writer. Now that the blue is dry, I'm adding a smaller teardrop shape in black on top of the blue, leaving a little blue to show. Be sure to take your time in these small details. Now I'm going to outline the eyes in black so they stand out from the white face. Again, I'm applying very light pressure to the fun writer and taking my time to ensure a thin, even line. I'm amazed at how well this little guy is holding still. He's not even blinking. And lastly, for the twinkle in his eyes. Notice that I'm squeezing a little paint out of the fun writer first so I can get used to the flow of the paint before putting it on the piece. Don't worry about getting paint on our tables. We'll clean it right up. I'm going to add a small white dot to the upper right corner of each eye. Use two coats of paint here since we are applying it on top of black. All done. Look at that cute little fella. And here's the finished product. Check out how the black turned from a chalky grayish color to this vibrant shiny black. It's pretty awesome. It's as if he took his tux to the cleaners. Okay, now it's time to give away this penguin bank. All you have to do is answer the question of the day in the comment section below and we'll pick someone to ship this to absolutely free. The question of the day is, what are you saving for? I'm saving for my kids college because seriously, I already have one, and today is my due date with the second. Until next time, I'm Erin Rassiope. Happy painting. <laughs>